just in case you haven't noticed, but it's been really hot. <laughs> so just a few thoughts uh, to reflect upon. I want to invite you to look back on your past week through the lens of today's readings, this tapestry of asking ourselves a most important question. What is my focus? What's been really most important to me this past week? What has preoccupied my thinking or my acting, my choices? What maybe has taken up more space in my brain, my heart, and my soul than needs to? Our first reading. Don't you love it? It's so uplifting. Vanity of vanities. It's all vanity. It's all going to go away. And yet, that's totally true. When we die, we take nothing with us except, as St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta said, the good works we did in love. What we bring to the Lord Jesus when we meet him face to face is not how much stuff we had, not how much we accumulated, not how important we were, but how well we loved. That's the perspective that we need. St. Paul reinforces this in our second reading, telling us to find hope, not in the things of earth, but in the things of heaven. Do we, as our parish mission statement say, says, place God first in all things? Is that the perspective that sinks somehow deep into our heart so that when we deal with one another and the passing things of this world, that our eyes are fixed on placing God first in all things? Did you happen to follow Pope Francis's pilgrimage of penance in Canada this past week. There is very little media coverage in, here in the United States. So I encourage you, check out the Vatican website to read his talks. Here is the Pope, the one shepherd of over one billion Catholics throughout the world being humble enough to acknowledge the pain, to acknowledge the injustice, and to ask for forgiveness, to do penance. Be rich in the things that matter, things of heaven, as St. Paul says. Lastly, from our gospel, this guy, great harvest, all kinds of good stuff. And he builds bigger and bigger barns. Are you a barn builder or are you a harvest sharer? Do you build barns for more stuff in your life, more accumulation, be it things, be it property, be it whatever it is, status, wealth, control, power. Are you a barn builder or are you a gift harvest sharer? You know, all that we have really isn't ours. It's all a gift from God. And God gives it to us freely. And then God asks us to be good stewards of what God has given to us. All those gifts, not to be hoarded, not to be accumulated, not to, to, to make ourselves more important and feel better and better while we disregard others. But no, God gives us all those gifts so that we can share them abundantly. And those of you who share abundantly, you know the outcome of that. You don't have less, you have more. And the more you give away, and the more you share, the more you receive. We don't need more barns. 
we need wide open hearts. And so, as we look back on the past week, let us also look forward to this coming week. How we will act, how we will be people of hope, how we will have an eternal vision looking to heaven. Because that's our goal. That's what lasts. Forever is a lot longer than for however long we might live here on earth. And it's my hope and my prayer that we help one another get there, that we help one another be harvest sharers, that we help each other to help our world who so needs this eternal perspective. And so, let us ask ourselves, will we be rich this week in what truly matters to God?